This is uh, probably going to be a one minute video on doing the uh, front differential fluid on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, so uh, I've seen a couple of videos where people use pumps and uh, I'm not really into that. So what I've got here is a, uh, a ratchet with a, a stubby 14 millimeter. It's a half inch drive. Uh, two liters of the uh, 75W140. If you got the electronic uh, differentials You'll need the uh, limited slip fluid. I've heard that you need to add it to the uh, Royal Purple. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But uh, I don't have the electric differential, so I'll never know. And then I just use one of these uh, pumps here rather than using an outboard oil pump. And I think it, it works really well. It takes probably three shots to fill up a differential. So rather than fooling around with Allen keys, you can just use... The ratchet, as they always say, get the uh, fill first. Got a glove because the hypoid fluid is kind of smelly. Not that easy to grab a hold of this uh, in the glove. So uh, I'm actually going to be taking the cover off the front of the differential because it's uh, leaking here. This seam is uh, famous for leaking. You have to take the uh, front differential mount out to remove the cover. Now we'll uh, take the drain out. position. I have a pan I can take to the dump and I dump it out at their oil storage bin. Works pretty good. I, can't... I think it's better than the uh, open pans. Right, we're up to two and a half minutes. Oh, it smells great. I wish you were here to smell it. Drop the plug in the dirt. I just have to clean that off. So at this point, you would uh, inspect the oil, look for any material, and what have you. But uh, that's really the job. So then you just load up the pump. Like I said, it takes a, a few shots to get all the fluid in. And yeah, squirt it in through the uh, filler hole. You're going to be on ramps to do this more than likely. So you'll end up being a little bit over full. You have to debate that whether you want to be over full or not. It might become a, an issue later on. I'm not too sure. Probably not good for your fuel mileage anyway to be over full. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much uh, the job. All right, so I wanted to provide an update if you're going to be changing the uh, sealant on the uh, front differential cover. So it's going to be 16 millimeter fasteners that are holding on the uh, diff mount and the uh, cover as well. When you remove these two uh, fasteners, you'll find that the uh, diff drops down and you can reach the uh, cover bolts. But I will tell you that the top two are very hard to reach. If you have a regular or a long 16 millimeter wrench, you're not going to be able to get it into there. What I did was I locked a uh, stubby 16 and a regular or a long 16 together. I was able to crack the uh, fasteners loose. I tried a whole bunch of different things to uh, get to it. And that was, uh, from what I had available, that worked the best. If you had uh, offset box wrenches, that might be uh, a solution as well. The uh, ratcheting uh, 16 millimeter, the head's too big to fit where the cooling fins are located. So uh, prepare to be uh, wasting a lot of time on that. In fact, you should probably try to remove those first or uh, abort the job. And uh, I will suggest that you replace the uh, vent line that goes up to the passenger shock tower. 
when I got this Jeep, it was all slimy. It was uh, leaking through. So I'm gonna spin this around. So you can see uh, the oil line in the differential normally. I haven't gone through to see what this uh, material is, if it's rust or uh, what. So help with the flashlight, I don't know. Got 9.8 mark on the uh, ring gear. You can kind of see the pinion in the back there. Apparently, changing those uh, bearings is quite hard to do. But while I'm in here, I might as well let you take a gander at them. Seems to me that it's kind of dirty in the differential here. Changed the fluid on it. Uh, once when I got the vehicle at 200,000 kilometers and that's about it so we'll give it a, a wipe before you take the cover off definitely clean it off with uh, some brake cleaner you don't want to get any dirt inside the differential so when I'm scraping the uh, gasket face I'll have uh, rags over the interior of the differential I'll wipe it out scoop anything I can get out of there get as clean as I can and uh, put her back together Okay, just about ready to put the cover back on. Just wanted to show you uh, how to put the sealant on the cover. Don't need to put a, a pile of RTV on here. It's going uh, from one machine of surface to another. So uh, don't be an amateur like Chrysler and put on a huge amount of uh, RTV sealant. It's just going to plug everything up. I took uh, an engine out of a D4 bulldozer once. It had just been rebuilt and it seized within uh, one shift of being overhauled because the uh, oil pickup was just full of RTV sealant. So don't be the guy that does that. So you can show you a bit more of the differential. So I uh, cleaned it up the best I could. Some of the uh, RTV was stuck in there pretty good. Hoping I got all of it. Got the uh, machine surface there as clean as I could get it. I'm going to wipe it down with some solvent before I put the uh, cover back on. That really is uh, all there is to it for this job, is to get the cover off and on, get it clean, get it sealed. Is uh, You might want to do this if you're changing the uh, differential bushings. There's uh, one there and there's one on the uh, other side of the back here. So uh, anyway, that's about it.